Hello students, in today's class we are going to discuss about the principle of Ekadhik and Ekanyun in Vedic Maths. Now the meaning of these words when understood makes the principle much simpler. That means if we know what is the meaning of the word Ekadhik and what is the meaning of the word Ekanyun, half of the job is done and then the sums are very simple to solve. So let's first start by trying to understand what is meant by the word Ekadhik. So we have word ekadhik here. Now if I just divide this word into two parts so that I can understand it better. So if I divide this, ek means one, we all know that and adhik means more. So if I now decode the meaning of ekadhik, so ekadhik literally means one more. So finding ekadhik is same as finding one more and finding one more is very simple. So let's consider an example. If we have a question where we have to find the ekadhik of any number. Let's suppose the number is 4. So we have to find the ekadhik of 4. Let's simplify the language here. What this means is Finding the ekadhik of 4 is same as finding 1 more than the given number 4. Because we have seen that ekadhik means 1 more. Now 1 more than 4 is very simple. It is just 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5. So 5 here is the ekadhik of the number 4. Now this whatever we have done we can also represent it using symbols so that it is much shorter and more convenient. Now, using the symbol, we have a symbol that represents ekadhik of 4. Now, ekadhik of 4, when represented symbolically, so ekadhik of 4 is written as the number and ekadhik is represented just by a dot above the number. So, this means 4 and a dot above it means ekadhik of 4. So, that is equal to 4 plus 1 since we know ekadhik means plus 1 and that is equal to 5. So, we have done the same thing in both the sections here, but here we have used and represented it using the symbol. Now, in the same way, we can also find ekadhik of any particular digit in a given number. For example, if we have a slightly different question and the question is find the ekadhik of now, since we know how to find the ekadhik of 4, we can find the uh, similar, for similar questions, if we have to find the ekadhik of a bigger number, supposing 25, it will be 26. And if it is ekadhik of 50, ekadhik of 50 is 1 more than 50, that is 51. But what if we have to find the ekadhik of, let us say, a digit 5 in the number 4, 15, 9. So, here is a tricky one. Now, we are not talking about the whole number. We are talking about the digit 5 in the number 451. So, for this, we write first ekadhik of digit 5 in 459 is equal to, let us represent it symbolically now. So, ekadhik of just one digit and not the whole number. So, we put a dot over the digit. It is dot over 5. So, that is equal to 4, the digit 4 is written as it is no change and we also write the digit 9 as it is without any change. But let us talk about this digit in the middle, that is 5. Now, ekadhik means one more of the digit 5, that is 469. So, ekadhik of digit 5 in the number 459 gives us 469. So, thus we can find ekadhik of a complete number or just a digit in the number. Now that we know what is the meaning of ekadhik, let us try to understand the other word that we are looking into today, that is ekanyun. So, in the same way, if we divide the word ekanyun, it can be divided into two parts, ek and anyun. Now, what is the meaning of ek? Ek means one, we know that. Now, anyun means less. So, if we literally translate the word ekanyun, it literally means one less. 
So whenever we are asked to find a noon of a number, we are actually being asked to find one less than the number. So that makes it very simple now. If we now have to find the a noon of let's take any number, supposing nine. So a noon of nine that means one less than the number nine. And 1 less than 9 is equal to 9 minus 1, that's equal to 8. So, a noon of 9 is equal to 8. Now, symbolically, if you would like to write this, a noon of 9 in short can be written as. Now, when we write a dhik, we put a dot above the number but when we write a noon of a number we put the same dot but this time we put the dot below the number. So this a 9 and a dot below it means a noon of 9 and we know that a noon means 1 less so that is 9 minus 1 that is equal to 8. So this is how we find the a noon of a number and in the same way we can also find a noon of just one digit in a given number. Let us have a look at that too. For example, if we would like to find a noon of supposing the number, the digit 5, so a noon of 5 in the number 154. Now, if this is what we have, so we will write a noon of 5 in 154 as 1, 5, 4. Now, it is not the a noon of the whole number like in the pre, like in the example that we have seen here. So, it is just the digit. So, we pick the digit that is 5 and put a dot just below the digit. So, we know that we have to subtract 1 or find the a noon of only the digit and not the whole number. So, here this means 1 and then 5 minus 1 is 4 and then 4. So, 144 is the answer here. So, what we have done here is we have kept 1 and 4 as it is unchanged but for the digit 5 whose econeon was required we have subtracted 1 which gives us 144. Thus, in this way we can find ekadhik and econeon of any question or any number or any digit in a number. Let us now try and solve a few questions with the help of what we have understood so far. So, let us start with the first question here. Find the ekadhik of the first bit is 6. So, we are to find the ekadhik of the number 6. First bit ekadhik of 6. Now, ekadhik of 6, if you would like to represent it symbolically, it is written as 6 and ekadhik means one more. So, we put a dot above the number like this. So, that is 6 plus 1. So, that is equal to 7. So, 7 is the answer here. Now, let us move on to the second bit. The number given to us is 13. So, we need to find the ekadhik of 13. Same way, we will put a dot on the top of 13. So, that we understand it is for both the digits and not any one digit in particular. So, right here in the middle. So, that is equal to 13 plus 1 or 14. So, 14 is the ekadhik of 13. Bit 3, we have to find the ekadhik of digit 1 in 14. So, here we need to be careful. It is ekadhik of just one digit in a given number. Ekadhik of digit 1 in number 14, that is equal to. So, we put the dot right over the digit. And that's 1 plus 1 gives us 2 and the 4 remains as it is. So, 24 here is the answer in bit 3. Now, we have a fourth bit here where we have to find ekadhik of digit 9 in the number 985. So, since it is only the digit 9 that we are talking about, we put a dot right over 9 and we now add 1 to 9, 9 plus 1 is 10 and the remaining digits are written as it is. So, it is 1025. So, 1025 is the ekadhik of digit 9 in the number 985. Now, let us move on to the second question. In the second question, we have to find the ekanyun. So, find the ekanyun of the first bit is 7. And we know that a noon means one less. 
सो ए का न्यून ऑफ सेवन इज इक्वल टू वी राइट सेवन विथ अ डॉट बिलो द नंबर सो ए का न्यून इज रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस अ डॉट बिलो सेवन एंड दैट्स इक्वल टू ए का न्यून इज वन लेस सो सेवन माइनस वन दैट्स इक्वल टू सिक्स सो सिक्स इज द ए का न्यून ऑफ सेवन now the second bit here we need to find a canyon of the number 25 so it's a two digit number but we'll do it in the exact same manner a canyon of 25 and a canyon is represented with a dot below the number and that's equal to 25 minus 1 that's equal to 24 so 24 is the a canyon of 25 so in today's class we are now clear with what is the meaning of ekadhik and what's the meaning of ekanyun and so we can find the ekadhik and ekanyun of any given number or a given digit in a number